There are a lot of great vehicles in GTA 5, but if you want to grind out businesses and missions, you will need these vehicles to make the mission simpler and faster to complete. There is probably no doubt that the Oppressor Mark II is the best vehicle overall in the game for grinding businesses, but for those who don't know why it is the best, let me explain. Overall concept of this bike looking thing is that it is a small vehicle like a bike which at the same time can fly. If you are having a hard time controlling helicopters in this game, I can assure you that the Mark II Oppressor is probably the easiest flying vehicle in this game that you can fly and land anywhere you want without bumping into things or exploding it, making it suitable for players at any skill level. Apart from that, if you own the terabyte in it, you will be able to upgrade the Oppressor Mark II and add better weapons on it. The best will obviously be the homing missile launcher, which will give you 20 rockets before needing to go back to the garage or terabyte to restock them. The rockets are awesome because in most business missions, you will need to shoot a lot of enemies and possibly explode things. And the Oppressor Oppressor Mark II will make it easy to fly to that location and quickly get rid of the threat and complete the mission. So the amazing missiles paired with how nimble the oppressor is make it one of the best vehicles for grinding in GT5. Only downside is that it will come in at a pretty steep price tag costing 8 million dollars or 6 million dollars with the trade price. But when you start using it, it will pay for itself really quickly. Another vehicle that is one of my favorites for grinding is the Sparrow Helicopter. If you are wondering how to purchase it, here is how. First you will have to own the Kosatka Submarine since Sparrow is stored inside the submarine and in the Kosatka upgrading screen on the website you will have the Sparrow Helicopter option which you will have to check off if you want to have the helicopter. One of the best things about the Sparrow is that you can easily call it in through your quick menu by going into services, clicking on Kosatka and requesting the moon pool vehicle. And no matter where you are, as long as you are near a road, you can call in the Sparrow and it will spawn next to you which makes it really convenient. It is also a service vehicle, meaning you can still have your own personal vehicle on the map and you don't need to return it before calling in the Sparrow. Apart from being super convenient, it is also the fastest helicopter in this game making it great for the missions where you need to go across the map to get to the location. To add to that, it also has infinite amount of homing rockets which you can shoot continuously without stopping and I will mention why this thing is important while talking about the next vehicle. You can purchase the homing rockets while the Sparrow is inside the Kosatka and here you can also add countermeasures which will divert or block incoming homing missiles from other players. The countermeasures are quite rare on helicopters and only 3 helicopters in the game have this feature including the Sparrow. The Sparrow is also quite small, making it really nimble and easy to land in heavily populated areas. But it will probably take some time to get used to the controls since it is still a helicopter. But don't let the small size fool you since with the recent DLC, the Sparrow also got a buff making its armor stronger. So the occasional bumps on the buildings and the ground won't make the engine fail so quickly as it did before. Overall, this small helicopter is easily one of my favorites because of the convenient spawning, nice maneuverability and amazing weaponry. If you are doing business with 4 people, Sparrow won't be enough for you. In that case, the buzzer attack helicopter will be your best choice since it is also really convenient. If you have a CEO office, you will need to register as a CEO and then simply go into CEO vehicle section and request the buzzer helicopter. If you request it through the CEO quick menu, it will spawn the helicopter right next to you the same as the Sparrow. The buzzer has been in the game for quite some time and although Though it is still a viable option to use today, in almost all aspects it is not as good as the Sparrow, since the buzzard is not as nimble, it is not as fast and it can shoot the rockets continuously, you will only get 2 homing rockets to shoot and then have to wait few seconds until you can shoot another 2, which is not only annoying but it also gives the enemies more time to shoot you down. So if you are playing with 4 people or for some reason don't want to buy the Kosatka, the buzzard is for you.
In the majority of the missions and jobs, the three vehicles mentioned previously will be the best most of the time. But if you are low on money or you are doing missions where you will meet enemies not in an open space, you will then need a car and more specifically you will need the Armored Kuruma. Armored Kuruma is the only car in this game fully bulletproof from gunfire, so the enemies won't be able to shoot at you while you are in the car. But an even better feature is that you can still shoot your guns out of the car at the enemies, meaning that you can simply pull up to the spot where enemies are at and shoot all of them while sitting inside the car and not taking any damage. To add to that, the Kuruma is quite a nimble and quick car of the launch making it great to quickly traverse the city streets but on the longer trips it won't be as fun since it doesn't have the highest top speed especially when comparing to Mark II or the Sparrow mentioned previously. Previously. Therefore, if you specifically need a car for the missions or if you don't yet have the money for the more expensive vehicles, the Armored Kuruma is the best for you. If you are grinding businesses, you probably will be using Oppressor Mark II most of the time anyways, but if you are using the Mark II all the time, it will start to get boring to the point where you will no longer want to do the missions since the traveling around the map is so boring. In that case, I really suggest going back one generation and getting yourself the original Oppressor. This Oppressor will resemble a bike much more since it has two wheels and you will still be able to use it like a regular motorcycle. But but when you want to travel across the map quicker, you can spread your wings and use the booster on the back to fly up in the air. When you are in the air, the booster won't recharge, so you will have to occasionally touch any solid object like the ground or a rooftop to regain the boost and continue to fly. The original oppressor will let you do all the tricks you want so you can have fun while going to your destination. This oppressor will definitely have a way steeper learning curve compared to the Mark II but I guarantee you that it will be much more enjoyable and fun to use. On top of that it also has homing missiles which you can put on it and they will make it that much more useful in the missions. Thus this vehicle is really amazing to use in times when missions get really boring for you. Tell me in the comments what vehicle you like to use in the missions. It will be really interesting to know what you prefer. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, consider subscribing and I will see you lovely people in the next one. Have a wonderful day.